。數據顯示咧，三分之一嘅加拿大人患有糖尿病或者係處於糖尿病嘅前期。糖尿病患者咧佔咗全國每年中風個案嘅百分之三十，同埋心臟病發個案嘅百分之四十。咁其實咧，糖尿病係一種慢性嘅疾病，同遺傳同埋飲食習慣咧係息息相關。究竟糖尿病患者喺飲食上有啲咩應該注意嘅地方？又可以點樣去透過科技掌握飲食去調控血糖呢？喺今晚我哋請嚟註冊營養師，為我哋詳細講解一下。注册营养师 Beth Danson 表示，咁无法控制血糖嘅风险因素包括血管受损、器官同神经受损。糖尿病患者嘅饮食应该包含足够嘅蛋白质、纤维同健康脂肪。Because these nutrients have a way of anchoring down our blood sugars, so they slow down digestion and absorption, so that we're not having blood glucose come into the blood really fast and spike and then crash. We're having it slowly regulated into the blood, and that leads to more stable、uh, blood sugars throughout the day. Nelson 表示，咁建議糖尿病患者減少進食單一碳水化合物，例如係汽水同糕點。但佢唔認為應該完全避免，應該控制分量同配合其他嘅營養進食。And what else is on your plate?、Um, and the portion. So if they're having half their plate as white rice, can we make it a quarter of your plate? Can we maybe go to brown rice or half and half? And then what? What else is on your plate? Is it half vegetables? Do you have a good a good palm-sized quarter of your plate amount of lean protein to help balance that? Nelson 表示，近年推出嘅 Libre 检测仪喺配合手机使用下，能够有效帮助糖尿病患者揾出导致血糖上升嘅饮食问题。So it's it's such a good tool because it's so motivational for clients because they they can get these readings all day long on their phone and they're like. Oh my gosh! I didn't realize the cereal I'm eating is spiking me so much in the morning. There's my problem. Like I had no idea.、Um, and so they get information that they they can understand where their blood sugars are going high, and then they can understand what to do about it. 佢表示，除咗饮食以外，足够嘅睡眠、减压同运动能够有效控制血糖。Moving your body can do wonders for anchoring down blood sugars. After your biggest meal or the meal you have the hardest time controlling your sugars at. Go for a 15-minute walk around the block after dinner. 好，今日嘅健康與你就講到呢度。